I get up every day and do what I want to do. I'm so lucky. My name's Jason Ferraro. I'm a custom car builder and engineer. My favourite build is, is always the next one. I know that's sort of a bit of a cliche, but I enjoy the process of building the vehicles. I love the result, but I cherish the journey. I really chose to do the GD40 as a way to keep my mind working after work. I'd finish a work day in corporate life, and I'd come home and spend many hours, most nights, working on a car at home. It was my downtime, is how I unwound. For me, what's most important when you're driving a vehicle is the steering feel, the gear shift quality, and the power delivery, and also the way the suspension behaves. It's all got to work together. I think that's the challenge in, in engineering the vehicles. GD40, as a lot of people know, relates to the height off the ground, 40 inches. It is a car that I've, I've really put a lot of attention to detail in all of the little systems. I really enjoy that challenge of engineering competence with something that still looks beautiful. The car's driven by a full Haltec ECU and race pack power distribution module. The transaxle is a six-speed transaxle with LSD. The car's equipped with a five litre Coyote engine, so that's a quad variable cam, latest type Mustang engine. It's a thoroughly modern vehicle underneath. There's nothing old, there's nothing used, everything is custom. Colours are period colours, you know, which is again, I think an important part of the story. The number seven's based on the fact that the vehicle was finished when my daughter turned seven, so it was a seven year build, and she loves it. I established Renault Auto as a business that focuses on very high quality vehicles from the 50s, 60s and 70s. I've really focused on some of the real stars from those eras, which is like a GD40 or some of the old Le Mans Jaguars and the Porsche 356, which is one of my favourite vehicles. And it's something that I've always wanted to have with a little more power, a lot more control and some modern comfort. Using that silhouette or that shape and engineering modern vehicles under it is a really interesting challenge. I really enjoy uh, working on vehicles and planning the vehicles in terms of their layout and their engine positions in a digital fashion. With 3D scanning capabilities and CAD capabilities, it enables you to really get that design right digitally before you start cutting metal and moving large objects like engines and gearboxes around. The pursuit of that accuracy is something I really enjoy. You'll pick up a component and you'll look at that and say, well, we've evolved in the time since that car was built. So you can engineer something brand new that performs far better than the original. And the driving experience reflects that. I've always been a driven person, but it's easy when you're really when you're following your passion. 